In 1987, Dr. Mary Koss wanted to come up with an accurate estimate of how many women have been sexually assaulted. Because she asked not, have you ever been raped, but rather, has X, Y, or Z ever happened to you? The results were shocking enough to cause an instant backlash against rape culture hysteria. But because of her data, society broadened its definition of rape from strangers in back alleys to things that have happened to one in four women and hashtag me too. But here's the kicker. An entire generation later, if you survey women and ask, have you ever been raped? The exact same percentage would say, no, not me, hashtag me either. And if you ask the men who raped them what happened, they won't need a hashtag to defend their actions. What weight those four little letters carry? R-A-P-E. If that doesn't work, how about P-E-A-R? Did the partridge ask if he could crash at that tree? Or A-P-E-R, it means one who imitates. Who taught this to you? P-A-R-E it down from your intent to action and its effect because the threat that connects us is still here, but it's threatened by a small fraction of the letters, 426 to be exact, that we need to agree upon. Or we could arbitrarily choose four new ones. They don't even have to be Roman characters. We could go Euclidean, pick Alpha, pick Omega. Hell, pick an Egyptian hieroglyphic. I don't give two shits. I just need us to come to some understanding so this can stop happening to you, you, and you, and to hashtag you too.